What is up, guys? My name is Ashona, and welcome to episode 5 of 3D Game Programming in Java. Um, last time, we successfully drew pixels on the screen. Awesome, isn't it? Um, and this time, in this, in this tutorial, we're actually going to just play around with them, and I want to show you guys how to animate them and explain a bit more how this code works. Um, first of all, yeah, I'm just moving it like that so that we can see both of it. Let me just move this stuff out of the way. Tasks can go to outline. No, I want this down here. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, that's better. Um, okay, so first of all, let's talk about the offsets. Um, what's actually happening? And the great thing about Java is that you can actually you can actually like live code pretty much. Um, so you can see that as I increase this number, so to say like 250 or something. Oh. It moved, and it did actually move. Don't worry about that. Um, it appears that it's yeah. It we haven't actually dealt with sort of updating it properly. We'll actually probably add that code today. Um, but yeah, so basically what it's doing is um, the value for x offset, and we don't need this anymore. Um, the value for x offset and y offset is defined by these two parameters: x offset and y offset. So by the, the by the second and third parameters, um, when we call this method, um, and uh, the reason that it's the second and third, of course, is because in here we've put it as the second, see the comma, second and third parameters, um, and also the reason that we again just say draw this is because the method the method is called draw, and we don't actually have to initialize the objects since screen extends this class called render. Um, so yeah, that's sort of that's sort of how it works, um, and of course it's going to draw it at y plus whatever about plus what what whatever value we put here. Um, so yeah, I hope you understand how that works. Um, so yeah, um, a neat trick to putting it in the middle is simply taking the width of, because this is x, um, subtracting the amount of pixels we've drawn and dividing it by two. And that'll actually pop it right into the middle. As you can see, that's in the middle of the width. And, you know, obviously doing the same thing for height. Height minus 256 divided by 2. Well, And there we go. It's right there in the middle. Awesome. Um, yeah, so let's talk a bit about animating now. Let me just pop this back here since we're done explaining. Um, okay, so... We'll actually create a new integer for this. We'll call it anim, sure for anim, animate or whatever, animating, being animated. Um, and we'll simply go math.sign um, system.currentTime all seconds. And we'll take the remainder of that. We'll use a percentage sign for that, percentage sign. Divide by 1000. These are just numbers, you can change them. Honestly, you can change these numbers, obviously. Um, and we'll times it by math.py. Times 2. Times 100. Okay. Um, oh, what's the problem with this? Oh, yeah, of course. System current time milliseconds obviously has decimal points in it, so we need to convert it into an integer by putting int in brackets in front of it. Um, that's called a cast. And let's add that to here. Yay. There we go. Wonderful. Animation. Isn't that epic? It's awesome, isn't it? Um, and we can actually similarly, you know, you can play around with these values um, and learn what they do pretty much. Increasing the speed. Slow. Even slower. And you might be thinking, you know, 0.5? What? 0.5 doesn't make it a and it's not an integer, and it is because basically by p by placing int, we're saying whatever comes after this, we're converting into an integer. So it's rounding off to the nearest whole number. Um, actually, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. Might be rounding up, might be rounding down, might be just rounding off. I'm not sure, so don't ask me. <laughs> Simple Google search will probably help you there. Um, I just know that it changes it into an integer. That's all you need to know. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, um, you can also see that it's leaving a trail behind itself. Um, we can actually solve that, but before we solve that, I actually want to show you 
another thing. And if we copy this and paste it into here, we'll rename this, you know, adm2, and we'll simply just change this to cosine, cos, and we'll draw it to the y value as well. Then you will see that it's not going to work because the bracket is in the wrong place. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Exception. Oh, an array index out of bounds. Ex oh, that's right. Okay, we need to put a boundary for this array thing that we drew. Um, yeah, okay. So, what it means is that when it's basically coming to here, it's... Oh, I wish... Let's run it again. Okay, it's not going to run. Okay, let's just run it from here. That was beautiful. Okay, so it's saying that there's an array index out of bounds. We've limited the number of arrays that we can create to, f like, the you know, the pixels, to width times height, which is 480,000, and it's trying to, you know, obviously draw more, um, 480,173, because we're sort of getting off the screen. Um, now, it's actually really easy to fix that, and the way we're going to fix it is we're going to go into make an if statement saying if ypix uh, is less than zero, so in other words, if if this becomes, if the y value becomes less than zero, or um, double uh, vertical sort of slashes. It's right above my enter key, right below my backspace key. If you hit shift, it's where the backslash key is, but you hit shift and you press it. Um, that means or. Similar, similar to how this means and, you know, that means or. So if this is true or this is true is um, greater than or equal to um, our height, render dot height, then continue. So pretty much skip. Um, and you know we'll have to do the same thing for here as well. So if why is this indented? All oh, right, yeah, that's correct. If um, if x pix is less than zero or x pix is greater than or equal to um render dot width then continue okay um awesome that should work let's check it out okay that worked kind of that's odd hmm there's some live debugging for you guys I honestly don't know what's going on what is hang on this is what's confining it hi shouldn't that be no, I want, mmm, this is interesting. Okay. Let's try setting this to the height of the frame, which is 600. Okay, let me just restart this. More exceptions. Oh, hang on. I changed the wrong value. This. We want to set this to 600 oh yeah odd it's weird how it's not um hmm there we go okay so we fixed that error that's uh, I don't know okay well it's a temporary fix so I might get back to that later um I just don't want to get distracted here um okay so yeah we got that um and we, you know we can change the direction by changing this to subtract whatever you want. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. We've got a nice little thing going on here. Um, yeah, and again, the great thing about Java is that you can change these values, you know, in real time, and basically it'll update straight away. So yeah, check that out. How cool is that? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so play around with this. It's a lot of fun. Um, again, there's no reason why it's limiting the it's, yeah, there's completely no reason why it's being limited. That's actually the height. Let's check out width. Um, yeah, as you can see, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, we can even put this to something like 600 and it'll, yeah. So there's no problems with that, which is good. It's rendering properly. Um, yeah, so we have the other problem. This stuff does not go away. And it's quite easy to fix. And um, 
yeah, we'll fix it now. Okay, so the way we fix that is uh, quite simple. In render, we're going to make a for loop, um, which is going to say, you know, if basically if or when I becomes until I becomes greater than width times height, then simply set pixels i equal to zero. Um, yeah, that worked. Okay, so uh, that should be self-explanatory. Basically, it's going to remove, like it's not gonna, yeah, well, you, you can see what it did. Um, it's gonna set pixels to zero every frame. So yeah, so it's only gonna draw the most updated state. Um, this is really cool as well. If we sort of draw like a nice trail and you can sort of start to see the 3D possibilities if we do this. Um, if we draw this multiple times, basically, so you can see, basically our plan here is to draw it multiple times, but one like back. So um, it's hard to explain, let me just show you guys. Okay, so when i is less than say 100, we'll have 100 being rendered. Um, I plus plus, and we'll encase all of this int inside the loop. Um, yeah, look at that. That's cool. But we're not done yet because we actually want to add i to here. But yeah, as you can see, we're getting sort of a tail plus i. Whoa. And let's go back here here and we'll add the other bracket so it doesn't crash. Yeah, look at that. That's marvelous. Okay, so now we've got this. That's really cool. Um, and you know, you can adjust how many draws, so being, you know, just two, for example, to, you know, whatever number you want, 10. You can sort of start to see it at 10. Um, let's actually slow down the movement of this. It's going way too fast. Um, I don't actually know what part slows it down. Hmm. No, that didn't help. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just... Okay. So that slowed it down. Okay. So... Oh, but if we slow it down, then we're not going to be able to see enough. Okay. You can sort of see how it's how it, once it renders, it sort of doesn't remove it immediately like it would because it's sort of, it's rendering mul multiple times basically. So, um, the, yeah, it's kind of hard to show you guys since it's going to, it since, it's get, it, since it gets removed. But, um, yeah. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, you can see if we start to increase this though, we're beginning to get lag, um, even on my fast computer. Um, 1000 yards belly barely coping. Um, and the reason is that even if, even if we're drawing, say, um, 200, so it's not lagging at 200, if I just bring up the calculator real fast, real quick, real fast, um, then we can calculate, okay, so how many pixels is this drawing? It's drawing 256 times 256, yeah, so that's 65,000, times 200. So it's drawing, what is that? 13, 13.1 million pixels right now to the screen. So that's, that's a lot of pixels and it's still not lagging. So it's pretty efficient. It's, um, it'll do for now. And basically, yeah, that's all I want to say today. Um, next we'll probably add some alpha support, you know, bit masking, all that stuff. So we can actually have transparency, uh, later on and we will move on and we'll see what's next. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to rate the video, and if you don't understand anything, leave a comment, tweet at me. That's obviously that's honestly the best place, Twitter. If you if you need help, follow me on follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and subscribe so you don't miss a video because I'm releasing one every day. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.